In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a frosted glass kind of layer effect in the HitFilm 4 Express video editor. And so to, in order to uh, make this effect, use something called a chrominator layer only effect. To apply this effect, you need to start with a composite shot. So from uh, I have this video clip, I'll make it into a composite shot, like so. Now that I have this composite shot, I can left click, hold and drag it to my video clip. Once that has been applied, you can um, configure the options from here, but you have a finer control if you just uh, do it from the controls tab from here. So you have a couple of options. You have source layer, channel, detail scale, reflection distance, and uh, the type of wrap. So for source layer, you don't have any other options. Perhaps if there was more than one uh, effect or one, more than one layer in this particular composite, you should you should be able to choose which um, a layer gets the effect. You have uh, um, different channels. Really, it doesn't make much of a difference which channel that you use unless um, the image that you're using is distinctly a particular channel. Like, um, let's say it's really a green uh, colored uh, video clip or a red colored video clip, then it would it probably make a difference if you try to uh, manipulate a particular channel instead of uh, just the default which is luminescence. Next you have a detailed scale which allows you to control the detail of the uh, of the um, frost, uh, frosted glass effect and as you can see the bigger I make this detail scale more the more of the original image shows through like right now you can tell that this is actually you know something in the original image the rails over here you see and so if I decrease this it um, increases the number of uh, distortions until you get that frosted glass effect like maybe you don't want um, like totally frosted so something like this doesn't look too bad um, but you know you can go with the default Oops, like that you can see that the default um, is a 7.5 if you want something that um, looks less grainy as I have mentioned before choose something like around 100 pixels finally and before that let me go ahead and reset this finally we have a reflection distance and this um, you know allows you to choose the amount of reflection in the effect if you have less a reflection more detail from behind the this particular effect is shown like so like right now this almost looks like a painting the way um, it is right now and when you put reflection distance to zero it's uh, as if the chrominator is the uh, uh, chrominator effect is disabled you know and then finally you have the wrap um, option you can tile it or you can reflect it it doesn't look like there's much of a distinct difference except this one you don't see um, doesn't feel like it's a, um, as carved in as the tile because if I uh, enable the tile it feels like there's more of a distinct like impression or as if it's more 3d if that makes sense and so let's go ahead and see what happens if I change the reflection distance not much of a difference almost the same but you can tell that this is more has more a uh, 3d um, detail to it you can change the uh, three um, detail scale and see if there's much of a difference you can't like it's more uh, the lesser the detail scale is the more difference you can make out if I go ahead and change this back to tile you'll see that you know uh, how it was from before the reflect usually um, when you choose wrap for any effect it's more seamless and if you use tile it's less seamless it's more like um, le it's less uniform in other words finally um, and actually that's uh, all there is to it so I decided to do some uh, keyframe animation so you can see the uh, way the video clip changes with different detail scales. At the starting point you have the regular 7.5 which uh, gives for 
a good uh, regular fro frosted glass effect and then the uh, detail scale becomes bigger until you can uh, start making out objects in the video clip this is more of like a, a distorted glass effect if, uh, effect if you think of those like carnivals where they have like really um uh, wavy mirrors which makes for very interesting reflections it's something like that and then finally you go uh, it goes ahead and tapers down to zero I'll go ahead and show you how this looks thank you for listening if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments below I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.